Hey all, Dan here with Periodic Audio. Today I want to talk to you about our new carbons. These are an older IEM we've had out for a few years, but we've added our new improvements to the whole thing. And I just want to kind of freshen the update video about what the carbon is, how it's made, what it sounds like, and really some of the features. So this is the new carbon. This is how this thing looks. As you can see, it's kind of new, different, different kind of approach uh, than the previous ones that you may be used to. That's what it is. For those who are already fans of carbon, don't worry, we haven't changed the sonics. We're still using the same transducer in here. It's a 10 millimeter dynamic transducer. We designed and built it in-house ourselves. It uses a true lab-grown diamond plate on our own proprietary um, substrate that provides a suspension. That is what we do. We build it internally. It's got an N48H magnet, all these great things. Massive performance. It's the lowest distortion dynamic speaker you're going to find on the market. It's just beyond belief how low the distortion is on this thing. Carbon is a great material. It, you know, you've heard of graphene, you've heard of all these things, carbon fiber and all that stuff. Carbon is relatively lightweight. It's not as light as like a beryllium or a magnesium, but it is very lightweight. Incredible rigidity, so it's very, very resistant to bending, and it has a very homogeneous motion. Uh, that's called the speed of sound. You'll see it on, on the, the data sheet that'll pop up probably over here in this corner is my guess. Um, speed of sound on this thing is very, very high, which means when you put a, a burst of energy into the cone, it doesn't kind of move and wobble. It just all moves simultaneously. That results in a very, very clean, even sound, zero distortion, any extra things like that. The extra weight mass relative to beryllium and, and magnesium diaphragms adds a little more bump in the low end. So this does have kind of a kick-ass bottom end. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, pretty wide extended, very, very good to go. It's an expensive process to make, but we do it. We build everything here in the US. We make them right here in Ventura, California. That's what we do, kind of a thing like that. Um, so carbon's been well reviewed. It's got great results out there. Same sonics as we always had before, not changing that at all, but we're actually cleaning a few things up with the new version. What are we doing? Two things. Number one, we've changed, as you already saw, we went ahead and changed the, uh, the type of material that we're using on the body. This is a new design of the body. We did two things. There's a new plastic being used here. It's called Triton. It comes from a company called Eastman Chemicals. We worked with Eastman Chemicals for three years to, to evaluate hundreds of different copolymers for acoustical properties, how well they behave, what do they do when, when, they're in, when they, when they uh, are energized with acoustic um, um, uh, energy. And at the end of the day, we chose a specific blend of Triton for our new IEMs. We were fans of polycarbonate. We're still fans of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is a great material. It's much better than ABS and nylons and a lot of other things like that. But Triton's just a step better. The internal energy that it, uh, storage is lower, which means when energy goes into it, it just dissipates the energy internally instead of reflecting it back out and, and creating kind of a smearing sound. So it's a much deader cabinet you can think of. This is like the difference between when you go up to a speaker cabinet, you go knock and it goes bang, 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 versus dong, dong, dong. It, it really cleans things up. So that's a big difference. Along with that, of course, we redesigned the cosmetics of the unit, uh, improved the outside geometry as well as the inside geometry to make it even less reflective. Same tuning though, so it's gonna give you the same frequency response, same low distortion, it's just all the extra stuff is cleaned up even more. It was already, you know, class leading, now it just is way beyond that. The other big change we've got, Ta-da! Guess what? We have connectors. Yes, as you can see, this is a 2.5 millimeter connector here. And this is a little tiny, uh, at this point, this is our, our little 2.5 millimeter plug we have. Uh, it's here, this is our own little jack. We now have detachable cables. It's a standard 2.5 millimeter connection. Why 2.5, you say? Well, number one, TS has been around for 100 plus years. The, the, the TRS, the, the coaxial kind of things like that. 100 plus years, why? Because they work and they don't break and they last forever, it's kind of idiot proof. You just plug it in, there's no orientation. Uh, you've seen 3.5 millimeters that, of course, everybody uses as well, right on the other end that goes into your phone or your equipment. The 6.5, 6.35 millimeter quarter inch phono jack, all that kind of stuff. This is a very standard connection. Uh, a lot of headphones, bigger over ear headphones, use these actually. A lot of the Sennheisers, AKGs, you know, a lot of other high end brands have used 2.5 millimeter jacks on each side because they're very easy and reliable. Most IEMs use like a two-pin plastic, which is polarity-based and can be messed up and bent, and that's not good because the little pins bend and then you got your new cable, it's all dead like that. Or they'll use an MMCX, the little tiny coaxial, which is really designed for 
RF applications where maybe you'll do a dozen insertions and 10, 10 rotations. Well, that doesn't really work with IEMs. I mean, we designed our own little jack here to withstand a thousand insertions and 10,000 rotations without a problem. This is designed to last forever. MMCX, they don't. That's the biggest complaint that people have. They're not good. Why it took so long to do this though, we'll get more details of this in a later video while going to to, into deeper details about the connector, but we had to design our own that's incredibly small in all dimensions. This is literally about 40% of the volume of any other 2.5 millimeter jack on the face of the earth. We had to spend time to figure it out, get the manufacturing process right, get it done, and then build them. So that's what's going on. So that's kind of the big changes, but that also means that we could do cool things with cables. Uh, for instance, all of our cables come by default. They're a high purity copper with a nice uh, enamel internals and a nice braided polyester jacket. I'm showing this actually here is our new silver cable. Uh, it's basically, uh, you'll be able to see, it's got the little silver line on it. Um, at the base. That is um, an actual uh, silver plate over the copper. It does change the tonality a little bit. Um, we offer that now so we can start experimenting with different cables as well uh, with our IEMs and, other, and people can start experimenting now it's detachable. Anyway, so that's the new carbon. It's the same phenomenal clarity that, that we've always had. The beautiful sound, the, the great capability to just let you hear whatever happened. This is like what we call the studio monitor version. Um, if you've ever listened to studio monitors, listen to music, they're great because you hear everything. They're bad because you hear everything. So if there's a mistake on the record or the song, you're going to hear it. This will let you hear that. Uh, they're $4.99 a pair. They're available now at our online store and going to be from all of our dealers worldwide as well very soon. So this is the new Carbon. It's a fun little product. It's super comfortable, super lightweight, great same sound, new additional features. Check it out if you want to try our new greatest IEM. Thanks all and have a great day.